Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatch event is pretty much confirmed for IFA. More leaks hint to the fingerprint scanning technologies of the iPhone 5S. And you better order your Verizon HTC One while it's hot. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I find it hilarious how Verizon is introducing a phone that's been in the market for the past six months, but anyways, this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the official news for those of you that have been waiting almost six months for the Verizon HTC One to reach the market. Well, the sign up page is now available. You can, yes, you can sign up, but you can sadly can't pre-order the phone and we still don't know exactly when the phone is gonna be launched. But rest assured, you're finally getting your HTC One on Big Red, even though we can't promise you that you're gonna skip that big Verizon logo at the back. Now let's move over to Google Now as the company is rolling out new features eventually that will allow the service to become smarter than it really is already. Just like the service can currently crawl your email to figure out what's the tracking number of a package and give it to you in Google Now, or figure out, you know, a boarding pass from your email from the airline, apparently the company is also allowing the service to now crawl for more information like what's the rest of your day looking like, even if you haven't scheduled it on your calendar. Now obviously this will not be instant, you would have to actually actually allow the service to crawl through your private information, but that said, it's really cool to see that it's getting better and better. According to Google, it's going to be rolling out eventually to smartphones in the United States. We don't know about the rest of the world, so hurry up. Now let's go through some rumors, and even though we're kind of skeptical of all these iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S rumors, we finally have some leaked photographs of some real parts this time of the fingerprint scanning technology that's apparently coming to just the home button of the iPhone 5S and not necessarily the whole display. But remember, Apple is this company that loves prototyping. They love trying different things and they probably are trying both things at the same time. Whatever happens regardless, it's really cool to see that the home button is finally going to get more functionality, but obviously this could all be ditched at last minute, so let's see how that goes. And if you laughed about the Nokia Lumia 925 being considered a phablet when it's everything but that, well, the company is now rumored to be working on the Lumia 825, and we are getting a 5.2 inch display on this device, and apparently it's gonna be rocking a quad-core processor, but wait a second, there's gonna be a Snapdragon 400, which is odd, since I thought those were stuck at dual core, but the point being is that apparently this device will be a mid-tiered phone, but that said, the only reason why that quad-core processor can work on Windows Phone is a Windows Phone 8.1 gets announced, so stay tuned for whatever happens first. And finally, for the hot news of the day, you knew that it was gonna happen. I mean, Samsung is that company that'll bring you Twitter on your refrigerator. What's gonna hold them back from bringing you a smartwatch? According to new reports, the Samsung Galaxy Gear will be announced that Samsung